Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is a podcast just for you. Stress and Pain Relief Podcast. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. If you'd like to support this free service, please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. Links on my website, as well as over 1500 free recordings that you can listen to, stream them free and download them free. Give it a visit. Now, I'd like you to get yourself comfortable sitting in a comfortable supportive chair or lying down on your bed. Just get in touch with how you feel. As this recording is aimed at helping you with either letting go of stress or letting go of chronic pain. Or both, if that's the situation for yourself. So everything that we do during this podcast, during these recordings, is all aimed at the same thing, those two things, to reduce or even to get rid of completely stress and chronic pain. so that you feel more relaxed at the end of it more comfortable calmer not just in your body but also in your mind more peaceful And that's part of the process because the more relaxed you feel, the less chronic pain you feel. And it's one of those vicious circles, as it's sometimes called. So someone may have chronic pain and they feel stressed because of it which then increases the chronic pain or if it doesn't increase it it kind of holds on to it which then causes more stress And when you reverse, reverse that process. Now that is when things start to look interesting. That is when you begin to notice changes occurring within you and 
when you reverse the process. Starting to feel more relaxed leads to the pain feeling less which then leads to you feeling calmer and more relaxed which leads to you Noticing those physical feelings of dis discomfort that you used to have reduced. sure this is something that you would like to experience more of. Something that you take control of. Something that you can enjoy, not just physically, but also knowing. that you've actually done something that helps we're going to test this out now you know the the model uh, a model that gets wound up in order to go, like a toy, little toy car, or maybe something you have in your bath. I used to have a dolphin that used to wind up and used to swim in the water. I say used to, I mean, that was three years ago, but I sat on it, so it broke. Still finding bits. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know why I said that. So, you wind it up. And in a way, we are naturally wound up every day. But of course, it's clockwise, isn't it? It's clockwise. Because then we go the way that we go. No one needs to wind us up. It just happens naturally. You know, from a, you know, metaphorical way. If you think about it literally, you know, a key being put into our back and turned clockwise in order to give us that energy in order to move forward and have energy for the whole day to do everything that was needed for us. And within that process is the, what I talked about earlier, about the stress getting stronger, leading to the pain getting stronger, leading to increased stress, increased pain. And then, I th you know, I mentioned if we did the reverse. So let's do the reverse. 
Let's do the reverse now. I want you to imagine putting a key into your back. And instead of turning it clockwise, we turn it anti-clockwise. Now this special key is focusing only on that part of your body. Or those parts of your body, if there's more than one, which has either stress or physical discomfort for whatever reason, whether it's chronic pain or stress. So this special key that's going to be entered into your back in the keyhole. I so we don't need to have surgery or anything to, to make the hole for the key, although I guess it would be keyhole surgery. There's a pun there somewhere. So it's just magic, you know, it goes into your back nice and easily. And we're going to turn it anti-clockwise. We'll just turn it the, the, the different way <laughs> to how we normally would. And just turn it a few times. Just to test it out. Okay. Well, now that you turned the key a few times, just wait a second because you know it doesn't start until you decide for it to start. So I thought I would uh, maybe count down from 20 down to 1 as you observe how you feel in that body part or those body parts as that process is reversed. So that you feel more relaxed, which leads to feeling more physical comfort, which leads to more relaxation deeper relaxation and you know, so on and so forth so if I count down from 20 down to 1 and when I start counting when I say you know 20 you can allow that wind it up in the opposite direction to start, to start going, to start to unwind. Moving that physical process in reverse. And just notice how it feels different. You ready? Okay, now, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 
14. Thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, focus on those body parts, or that one body part. How do you feel now? How does that body part feel now? How do those, you know, compared to how you felt before, How did you feel during the process? During me counting from 20 down to 1 and that unwinding but in the opposite direction to normal. How did it feel? Just get in touch with the feelings the calmness that is available. It's almost, you may find there's more space. Like maybe before, it felt as if the, there was a tightness and there was a like very claustrophobic feeling in that body part when it came to the physical sensations that were unpleasant. Now there's, there's more space, the ceiling's higher, the walls are further apart, there's more air, more oxygen, maybe it's almost like the room's brighter, it's a huge window, maybe many windows with light coming in, sunshine. You can open the windows, letting more air, fresh air. How does that feel for you? Emotionally, how do you feel when you now focus again on that part of your body or parts. As you notice, the stress levels are reduced and it may not even make sense why. But you feel different. Something has changed within you and your body. It's almost as if you have a different attitude towards that issue that was there before. Maybe you've decided without even deciding that you want to feel more comfort. And 
that you really, you're really open. to experiencing more relaxation more healing and to allow more positivity into your mind and into your body which changes everything when you start to see not just the world but you yourself your body your health through more positive eyes because you don't see just what is there you see what can be See possibilities of future calmness, future comfort, future healing, future happiness. And that magic key in your back can be available whenever you want it. So of course the key will disappear. But then when you want it to be there, you just imagine it is. And it will be there. And you can focus on a part of your body or maybe the whole of your body and mind if that's what you want to focus on. And you can turn that key anti-clockwise or just do the opposite way to you normally, how you normally would if you were winding up a clock or a watch. Or anything else. And every time you go through this process you seem to expand the barriers that were there before the barriers that maybe you unconsciously set up to protect yourself was also inhibiting yourself those walls that you were keeping close built to keep out more suffering and more problems well keeping everything in cramped and uncomfortable so every time you turn this let's call it a magic key it's pretty magic isn't it every time you turn that magic key
anti-clockwise. You then, and then let it just go. Now you've got to be counting down from 20 down to 1. So the walls built to protect you. Also being used as a prison to keep you in. I mean, on one level, you could say, well, if you're locked in that prison, things from outside can't get in and make the situation worse. But at the same time, if you're locked, or let's say locked in a building where no one knows where you are and you're hidden, protected but hidden, then no one can find you to help you. I'm talking metaphorically, of course. But when you count down from 20 down to 1, there's a real sense of expansion that automatically happens. And you can feel it within you. You know, it's not just a bunch of words. You can actually not only test everything that we've talked about you can feel it you can physically and emotionally feel the changes as they occur which is the amazing part of this type of process is you don't have to take my word for it You get to find out for yourself. You get to enjoy not just the process, but also the results. Now, As you know, all you need to do for this process to continue working, um, although it probably will just continue working on its own now anyway, it just seems logical really, doesn't it? Once you conscious mind and your unconscious mind have found something useful that works that is easy and actually it's all just an idea an idea that helps then why wouldn't your body and mind continue? To do what is necessary in order for you to experience so much more comfort and relief.
and you can repeat process of imagining the key in your back turning it anti-clockwise maybe just three turns and then you count from 20 down to 1 in your own speed, in your own time, focusing on a particular body part, or maybe an overall physical experience. Noticing more positive changes every time. And you may find benefit from listening to this recording every day for 30 days in a row. to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.